Saudi Arabia has recently revealed an astonishing mega-project, known as the Mirror Line, which stands as one of the most ambitious undertakings ever proposed. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman envisions the construction of two parallel skyscrapers soaring to a height of 500 meters each, spanning an impressive 170 kilometers across mountainous and desert landscapes. This endeavor, aptly named the Mirror Line, is akin to the extraordinary feat of erecting 2000, one World Trade Center side by side, a concept that appears utterly ludicrous. The rationale behind Saudi Arabia's announcement of this seemingly implausible project raises questions. With only a dozen skyscrapers worldwide exceeding the 500-meter mark, the idea of building 4,000 of them simultaneously in the same location appears outlandish. Is this a genuine endeavor, or is Saudi Arabia merely striving to capture global attention? Few countries can boast a transformation plan as ambitious as Saudi Vision 2030 which was introduced in 2016. This diversification plan aims to reduce the nation's reliance on oil and pivot the economy towards sectors such as tourism, technology, and others. Under this overarching vision, the NEOM project was unveiled, a futuristic smart city consisting of three massive megaprojects. The first phase of NEOM features an eight-sided floating industrial complex known as the Oxagon, intended to serve as a vital port for shipping routes through the Red Sea. Additionally, NEOM will include a prominent outdoor skiing destination called Trojina, located in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, offering year-round entertainment and events. However, none of these previous plans rival the extravagance of the Mirror Line, which was initially introduced in January 2021. Recent revelations regarding the Mirror Line make it clear that describing it as anything less than extraordinary would be an understatement. So, what exactly is the Mirror Line? It comprises two towering buildings, each soaring to 500 meters in height, running parallel to each other across 170 kilometers of desert terrain. These identical structures will boast mirrored exteriors, with just 200 meters of space between them to accommodate a city of 9 million residents. The linear city will commence at the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba in the Red Sea and extend inland, traversing mountains and desert landscapes. Elevated walkways will connect the two mirrored facades, with most of the interior space being developed vertically to house public parks, offices, and residences stacked on top of one another. Essentially, the plan involves stacking the infrastructure of a conventional city vertically. Moreover, the project aspires to be 100% sustainable, incorporating cutting-edge technology. Vertical farming will provide sustenance for the inhabitants, integrated into the 500-meter high walls. The structure will also feature a marina for yachts and a sports stadium elevated up to 305 meters above the ground. The question remains, is it feasible to realize this monumental project, or is it destined to remain a grand vision? While humanity has erected immense structures and challenging landscapes before, the mirror line appears to promise too much in too little time. Saudi Arabia's track record in building exceptional skyscrapers, exemplified by the stalled Jeddah Tower, which was intended to be the world's tallest building, raises doubts about the execution of such a colossal endeavor. Nonetheless, the mirror line stands as a unique endeavor in history, comparable to the audacious plans of the Illinois a proposed one-mile-high building from over six decades ago. Much like the Illinois, the Mirror Line may ultimately exist only on paper or in the form of 3D renderings and promotional videos. However, this time, the world is closely observing, with approximately 50 million people having already viewed one of their promotional trailers. So, what motivates Saudi Arabia to propose such an extraordinary project, even when the feasibility of its promises remains uncertain? Since Mohammed bin Salman assumed leadership of the country, Saudi Arabia has embarked on an image rebranding campaign. Projects like the Mirror Line are integral to this effort, capturing global attention and reshaping perceptions of the nation. Saudi Arabia seeks to be viewed as a country offering far more than pilgrimage-related visits, aspiring to diversify its economy and emphasize tourism. Attention-grabbing announcements like the Mirror Line play a pivotal role in altering its international image. Moreover, the project holds personal significance for Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who likens it to some of the Middle East's most significant mega-projects, considering the Mirror Line as My Pyramids. 
NEOM is envisioned as Saudi Arabia's architectural landmark, and unveiling an incredible project within it generates anticipation. Additionally, NEOM's website presents it as a vision of what a new future might look like, suggesting that the mirror line could serve as a research project for alternative city structures and modern transportation concepts. In light of the announcement of the mirror line, Saudi Arabia has successfully garnered widespread international attention, both in terms of intrigue and criticism. However, the majority of reactions have been unfavorable, leaving numerous inquiries unanswered. The objective is to establish a city with a transport system that is 100% sustainable and emits zero emissions. Nevertheless, there is a conspicuous absence of any mention regarding the colossal carbon footprint that such a venture would inevitably generate. According to calculations by Oldfield at the University of New South Wales, the construction of the line would result in the emission of nearly 2 billion tons of CO2, surpassing the total CO2 emissions in the UK over a span of four years. The notion of creating a carbon-neutral city loses credibility when one considers the substantial emissions associated with its construction. Furthermore, Critics have been swift to highlight Saudi Arabia's tarnished human rights track record and are already tallying the human toll of Saudi Arabia's ambitious plans. In the region, various indigenous tribes have inhabited towns and villages for centuries. ForeignPolicy.com reports that approximately 20,000 people are being displaced to make way for NEOM. Additionally, Saudi security forces have faced accusations of fatally shooting at least one protester opposing the development. The nation's failure to enact effective labor reforms has resulted in widespread exploitation of migrant workers, with no clear strategy presented by authorities to address the issue. This fragile human rights record has become a prominent issue, potentially hindering the acquisition of funding for the trillion-dollar mega-project. Despite initial hopes of attracting foreign investors, the country continues to face significant resistance and boycotts from the Western world, making economic partnerships a challenging endeavor. Even if sufficient funds were secured, many aspects of the NEOM and Miraline plans are considered overly intricate to materialize as depicted in media promotions. Based on the current evidence, Saudi Arabia appears to lack the necessary expertise to translate most of its recent assertions into reality. Even with external assistance, the sheer scale of the mirror line project renders it improbable to complete within the next few decades. Concerning the mirror line, a pivotal question arises, is there genuine interest in residing in such a locale? Presently, the mirror line seems more like a conceptual exploration of alternative lifestyles. Realistically, the project is excessively ambitious and confronts numerous obstacles, including the aforementioned human rights abuses and feasibility challenges. For the time being, it remains an unattainable endeavor, and a more pragmatic approach may involve integrating some of these futuristic concepts into Saudi Arabia's existing urban centers. What are your thoughts on the mirror line? Can it ever evolve from a science fiction concept into reality? Please share your opinions below. If you found this video enjoyable, feel free to like and subscribe to Saftium for additional content.